I'm on a lonely road, the only uh, road that I way? have ever known. Back this way. Where are you going? La 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 Hi. Hello. Ready? Hi, I'm Froggy Luffy. And I'm Phoenix Animator. And welcome to Infinity Skyblock episode 48. Guess what? What? Uh, well, I think it's time, since we have the Surtis Quartz wrench, that we we start working on getting rid of the logistics systems. As much well, as possible. That's true. Except, okay. I want I want to do a slow transition from the logistics pipe system to the AE system. Okay. Don't ME system, whichever one you want to call it. Um, what I'd like to do, if we look up here, um, uh -huh. the crafting I want to um, use logistics pipe crafting to make the AE system. All right. Uh huh. First thing we're gonna need is the uh the quartz fiber right if i look up here you can see that i've made these recipes okay the quartz fiber is serves quartz dust and glass that makes your quartz fiber you need that to make your emmy glass cable which takes the fluids crystals and the quartz fiber so now we can make that so you know what let's go ahead and request some of this quartz fiber okay Let's say, let's make, uh, what does it make, three? So let's say make 12. Oh, I'm doing the minus. So let's make 12. Okay. Now, glass cable. So let's see, glass. Uh, we have 15. Let's request 20. Okay. So now it will make the others. Okay, now then coming down, you're we're going to need covered cables, okay? Which covered oops, covered cables are the emmy glass cable with wool over top of it, which means we need to start set up a rancher to get a whole bunch of wool going. Okay? Okay. And that will get you your emmy covered cable. Now that means that, let's see, ME covered cable. Uh, let's request eight of those just to start with. Okay. Now then you'll also, if you want to do um, a lot of connecting, because now the A system is done in channels. So your dense cable will allow you, again, your dense cable will allow you more connections. That's good, yes. And that takes the ME covered cable, plus yep. it takes redstone and glowstone. Yep, so 32 connections. So let's request four of those. No, it takes three. Let's request two of those. Let's see, dense dense where is it at there it is dense uh we're gonna need no we're gonna need about eight of those really yep yeah. we're gonna need eight of them okay so i'll probably need to make it'll the system will probably need to make more of those other ones then moving on down you also need smart cables because smart cables tell tell you to hook up to uh a machine or something an Emmy interface, or uh, for instance, the Emmy controller will be making. And port buses. Um, port buses, well, right. This, the dense cable can that, connect to the controller, but. That also takes Emmy covered cable, okay? So that. And it also takes the redstone and glowstone. I, I read looked at that and thought, well, that's weird because. I thought it was the exact same recipe. So let's pull up smart cable. Smart cable, we're gonna need one of those uh, for right now. Okay, now, moving along here to our ME drive bays. You're gonna need drive bays, right? Yes. Okay, so your drive bays, again, it needs the glass cables, which is why I, you know, am, there's so much repetitiveness here. 
Yep. So it also needs engineering processors, which I made a couple of stacks of, yep. and then iron, so you can get your ME drive. So let's go ahead and request an ME drive. An ME drive. That would be, where is that at? There is ME drive. Well, let's just start with one. We're going to end up filling up, taking all the compartments out of there and filling that up with drive bays. Yep. Okay, now to you also obviously need some drives, storage drives. So storage drives, they need these a 4K ME storage component. Um, so that means you need to go all the way up here at the top. You need the 1K ME storage component, which is the logic processor, SERTA scores in Redstone. Uh huh. And then you need the 4K ME storage which is the 1K a calculation processor, redstone, and quartz glass. So I also had it uh, learn quartz glass, which in this case, I'm having it use nether quartz. You can have it use certus quartz dust, but I'm saying go ahead and use nether quartz dust to make the quartz glass. You have that choice when you, when you go to make the recipe. And so now we have the MK, excuse me, a 4K ME storage cell, okay, which is uh, more quartz glass, redstone, the 4K ME storage component, and three iron ingots. So let's go ahead and order some of these 4K storage units. So let's see, 4K, there we go. And let's go ahead and start with seven of those. All right, so we'll request seven of those. That's gonna take forever, probably. All right, so now I also taught the system how to make, because in furthering along here, you need formation cores, which is certus quartz, flux dust, and logic processors. And you also need annihilation cores, which is logic processor, flux dust, and nether quartz for the annihilation core. You need those two pieces for several of the pieces in the AE system, or ME system, whichever one you want to call it. Yes. I just always call it AE2. Well, actually, AE, Applied Energistics. AE? Yeah, AE is what I usually AE call me. it. AE. AE. AEU. Okay. We all, we're also going to need to set, to start this out, we're going to need a uh, crafting terminal, and we're going to need a, um, uh, yeah that component that you're supposed to make the yeah, controller ME controller so why don't you make that controller okay sounds good so me controller pretty easy you need some sky stone blocks some engineering processors you need your wrench which that's a pain in the butt to make yeah. also keep in mind on here it says that it won't be consumed unless auto crafting make sure that you don't auto craft with this thing um and so to make your sky stone real quick, you just throw some sky stone into a furnace or redstone furnace or something like that. And to get the sky stone itself, just stick sky stone dust in a, not wooden barrel, but a stone barrel with lava in it. And that will get you the sky stone. And then of course your calculation processors, we went over those as well. And then you also need some pure certus quartz, pure fluix crystals. It's an engineering processor, not a calculation processor. Engineering processors. I said that wrong, apparently. I, um, anyways, pure fluix crystals. Those are dropping fluix seeds into water and waiting for them to grow. For, and you would probably want to use the crystal growth accelerators that we made. Which and I did use. The fluix seeds are just fluix dust and sand. So that's how you get those. So there and we go. Make, you make those seeds in the in a, just a crafting grid. Yep. All right. So now we have a controller. Then fabulous. So then, so then the last part we need to make this beginning of process, which God, that's a lot, is an ME crafting terminal. To get an ME crafting terminal, you need a calculator and processor, a crafting table, and an ME terminal. And an ME terminal takes. Oh, look, that annihilation core and formation core. So let's order that up. Yes. Let's just say core. That way I can order both. So I need one or two of each. 
Oakland, it'll actually make two of each. Okay, so, uh, back to the crafting terminal. There we go. Uh, you need the annihilation terminal and the formation terminal, plus you need a lo logic processor. You also need it, you need a another kind of panel here. So, in order to do this, illuminated panel, there we go, that's the one I'm picking. Uh, because it takes three quartz glass, two glowstone, redstone, and an iron. Let's go back again, though, and let's see. Uh, dark. There we go. Dark takes the bright. Bright take it. <laughs> you need to make the illuminated, period. So it doesn't matter which one you use. You have to make the illuminated. And you get three of those. So we'll... We'll take that. So now we have three of those. So now going back into here, the ME terminal needs the illuminated panel, the formation core, the annihilation core, and the log logic processor. So here's my logic processor. Here's my illumination panel. And let's look in here and looky there. I got all my stuff. That's so cool. Okay, Yay. so let me just pull that out. So we got that and we have that. And I put them in the right way. There you go. Now I have the ME terminal. ME okay, terminal. So now the ME terminal, along with the crafting table and your calculation process to get you the ME crafting terminal. Cool. You can use just a regular ME terminal, but then you can't do any crafting inside of it. So yeah, we, we like crafting terminals better. Yeah, that's why we made the crafting terminal. All right, so the last thing that we need then to set this beginning system up is uh, pull all this stuff out. Um, I don't know if I have enough room even. Okay, um, yes I do. Fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Okay, so I've got, let's see, uh, where's my smart cable at? There's my smart cable. There's my crafting terminal and all my little drives. So let's come up here and we're going to set this right here to begin with. And we'll just butt it up against that. Cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all these drives in here. We're going to partition this stuff, um, actually. Yep. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll take all those drives back out of there in a moment. And really. then if you put a Fluix cable there on top, and then put the terminal facing you there you there go. We go we're all set and then put the smart cable now down the smart cable goes here and then the dense cable now I want to make colors Okay, we're going to color code everything. Uh -huh. um, so there's going to be m multiple different colors. So let me go back over here to the crafting bench here. I could do this in the AE thing, but it's not. I don't, that, yeah, it's not, it's not powered. Quite, but I don't know if it'll work. So the, the no, no, the dense cables, if you take that all the way around your crafting grid and then put a color, whatever color you might want in there, it will turn your, your colors. And we're going to do, yeah, as you just said, we're going to do green first. Green. So now this is, pardon me. I said green. Yes, green. So now this should hook up right there. Perfect. Now we have the green going. Perfect. Across. Yep, yep. And we need one more. Let me oh. place this first. Boop. Yes. There we go. There we go. Now we can get rid of the sand. Now. What's the reasoning now, for us putting this up here? Because you were saying that you wanted to do it under. Um, I don't under. Oh wait, that nah, should probably be, go down one more. Yeah. Can you? Boop. Thank you. Boop. There we go. And now I have one. Ha ha! I was gonna say Boop. I don't have any more, so I'm in trouble. There we go. Uh, so that they're not touching underneath. Because we're going to have them coming off of all of these interfaces. Ah, yes. Oh, no. Exactly. So this way it will not be not be touching because we're going to actually 
Um, these ME controllers, they have six sides, and you can use all of these sides to to use more channels because each one of these lines down these cables represents yep. channels. Yep. And so two of thirty-two have been used. And yes, it actually says that. Yep. Using dense cable, you get a lot more channels, costs more to make. So if you just used regular cable, you, you would have eight. eight. You would have eight channels. Oh, no. Doing it like this, you get thirty-two. So you can hook up thirty-two items, like uh, import buses, export buses, ME drives, right? Interfaces, all kinds of all. Of Every ME single things. solitary thing you hook up takes up a channel. So that's why we're setting it up this way so that it can grow and it can grow back out this way too because we can put more ME controllers up in the air here. Yep. And different colors and the other, the colors will not connect together. That's why we're using colors because yep. they'll, they'll stay separate. Exactly. So they can uh, run their own line so of 32 things. In order for this to actually be on, because if I go like this, nothing happens. It's, well, actually it did. I do see it. I actually is wait a minute. Is this this is not connected to power because nope. that's not on. It's not. Um, that's the other. That's the last thing that we need is the power. Yep. And the easiest way to do the power would be what? Energy acceptor and a Tesseract, just like we did for the growth accelerators. Exactly. So we will place that on off camera because we've already done that so we'll place that on the same thing that we did last episode come lucky with, with the uh energy acceptor what and we'll hook that what am i looking at where am i going let me we'll hook what am i holding in my head you're holding a wand but you you've got ice or something on there what kind of focus do you have on there what did you just do i and boy, is this thing expensive. I have a wand cap, the AE Wrench wand cap. Whoa, no. It uses the Surtis Quartz wrench. Oh Super expensive. Gosh. And how it says it won't be used, consumed except in auto crafting setups with uh. this wand cap, not true. It, it uses it. Super expensive. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing, though. But yeah, so it just allows me to pick things up as if I'm using an AE wrench. Oh, that's I don't a, have to carry the wrench with me all the time. That's so cool, but super expensive, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because this wrench is super expensive. Oh, you had to use the wrench to make that? Yep. Oh, so you don't have a wrench anymore? No, I do. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, alright, that's cool, though. Um, you can carry around your wand and use your wand to, to pick things up. Yep. That's so I just cool. wanted to show that. Now we can I can, I can actually take this down here and start attaching our our energy cells um, to just so we can yes. have this powered on for the episode. We'll there we go. Actually, there we go. So now it's on. It's working it, and ready to go because it has power. Yep. And so if I look in here now, there we go. Now it's clear. Of course, there's nothing in the system yet. But now it's oh there you go you just See? put you can put something <laughs> I'm not gonna leave that in there because yeah. we don't want to we don't want anything in the system yet we want to right like the I could first put, few I, things we I can put those set. in there um, but yeah I don't want that we're going because we're going to selectively put our drives in there yep but there we go that's what it looks like looks like all lit up yep so that'll do it for this episode the starting beginning portions of the A system and logistics pipes is helping us to make it. Because we're having the logistics pipe make all the parts. Exactly. Don't auto craft. Do not auto craft your Surtis Quartz wrench, or you will have to make another one. Yes. Do not auto craft anything with that Surtis Quartz wrench, because that you have to go through, you know, so much to get. You don't want to lose it. Exactly. Oh no, because that is just too hard to make again. It's like one's enough. You don't ever want to have to make that again. Alrighty then, that'll do it for this episode then. Good night. We are just, we've cleared out a bunch of stuff. We did. Um, um, things are looking a little different around here. It is, and we'll get the rest of it cleaned up. But I think that's going to be it. Yep. 
I'm Froggy Lumpy. And I'm Phoenix Animator. Thanks ever so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you all later. Bye. 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 And if you have any comments or any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I messed it up again. Ah! <laughs> it's sad, sad, sad. Oh, well. Bye. Bye.